The EU's so-called frugal four member states have promised to table their own proposal for the bloc's COVID-19 recovery, one that will include tough conditions for countries seeking financial aid. Well, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte says he's working with the leaders of Australia, Austria, Denmark and Sweden to come up with a plan built on loans instead of grants. The move counters a proposal put forward by the leaders of Germany and France on Monday, which included 500 billion euros in aid money that hard-hit countries would not have to pay back. Well, let's head straight over to Brussels, where Jack Parrick is standing by. Hello there to you, Jack. So, Franco-German plans look like they've been derailed, but what are the so-called frugal four proposing instead? Good evening, Isabel. Well, what the, what the leaders of Austria, uh, Sweden, the Netherlands and Denmark are saying essentially is that the loans that get put, the, the, the fund that gets put into the budget to try and help Europe with its economic cover, recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, that instead of being grants and being offered to countries to support them without too many uh, conditions, that actually that there should be strict conditions on them. The Dutch Prime Minister, Mark Rutte, said that countries, for instance, like like Italy and Spain, who've been hard hit by the pandemic, but also have high national debt, that they should be forced to take on the money, uh, to take on reforms if they take money from this pot. Now, the 500 uh, billion euro uh, fund that was uh, proposed by Emmanuel Macron, the French president and the German chancellor Angela Merkel earlier this week, uh, that was going to be essentially a pot, a mutualized pot of debt that meant that everybody shouldered the blame together and the, the, the burden together. And it was seen as a big, big step for the Germans who've been really reluctant to do that in the history of the European Union and of the Eurozone. But now it looks like even though the Germans are on board with this, these four countries are really going to put a stick in the mud on it. And there are many different pieces to this puzzle, puzzle, aren't there, Jack? Because the EU Commission is set to unveil its own recovery plan. So if we look at the Franco-German proposal, how does that fit into that? Well, all of these suggestions are basically an outline to press the European Commission. It will be the European Commission's proposal that is the actual document that is worked on among all of these countries. So what they're doing is they're coming out and they're push, putting their pressure on as the European Commission and the President of the European Commission, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, are scribing this document. They were meant to announce it. They were meant to announce uh, this fund and the budget uh, um, the status of the budget and how they want to go forward with that uh, a few weeks ago, but it looks like it'll be next week now. And it's important to note that there is some time urgency on this. It probably needs to be in place. There probably needs to be an agreement by October. That might feel like quite a long way away, but when you're negotiating these sort of things in the EU, it can take many months. The budget needs to be in place by the 1st of January 2021. So the clock is really ticking. And importantly, it is important to note that the countries like Italy and Spain are also pressing. They say that they need the EU to support them in their economic recovery, no matter how much public debt they had before the pandemic. OK, a number of pressures at play. Well, thanks so much, Jack Park in Brussels.